You probably hear the doggy panting in the background. He's having a good time. A sabo change can make a huge difference. Either good or not so good. So that's why we're here today. It's in the mid 70s, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Right now it's dropped off a little bit around 10 miles an hour. So we've done a sabo change and we're gonna see what happens with three different projectiles. As you can see, what they are left to right would be a Parker 300 grain Ballistic Extreme followed by the 300 grain Parker Match Hunter and the 290 Barnes TEZ. So we have replaced the Barnes factory Sabo, the blue Sabo, with an HPH 12 and we're using MMP HPH 12 for all all three projectiles. An HPH 12 has a more rigid base and it's estimated to be 5 to 10 percent stronger. Uh, although the assembled diameter is very very similar to the MMP short black. Now what that does for accuracy I have no idea but we're here to find out. Now as you should be able to see our spin jag BX is not going to have any problem addressing any of these combinations. The shortest and subbiest would be the Ballistic Extreme. Of course the Match Hunter has obviously no problem and nor is the Barnes So our spin jag fits all three projectiles, no problem. Even though they're longer pedaled sabos, there's no danger of pinching the sabo between the jag and the bore of the, of the Remington muzzleloader. All three projectiles load smoothly and easily. The Barnes uh, 290 with the HPH 12, it's a, it's a little stiff, but uh, if you want them to shoot tight, they ought to load snugly with about a three thousandths interference fit so they engrave on the way down. So we're going to start out with the left target. And the left target will be 120 grains of Blackhorn 209 with the Barnes TEZ 290 with an HPH 12 Black Sabo. Looks like we've learned a little something today already, which is why we're out here. The Barnes uh, TEZ 290 flat base appears to uh, shoot better with the supplied Blue Sabo, which is an HPH 24. Okay, we're switching off to the Parker Match Hunter 300 grain HPH 12 Sabo, the long Sabo and we're switching powder charges. We're going to what's my, my favorite load to date anyway, which is 130 grains by volume of Blackhorn 209. Okay, we'll take a second shot with the Parker. 130 grains of Blackhorn, same 100 yards. Bob Parker ought to be happy again. That looks like we're doing a Robin Hood shot, a hole within a hole. <laughs> 